but black has been used as a word to represent the level of expanded consciousness beyond our ability and for us it's a blackness because it's beyond us. So did you just say that black has, uh, it's recording, black has a higher and lower aspect as well? Black as a, as a word that is used to describe uh, aspects of reality. Black can be used in the negative sense, it often is, mm -hmm. to suggest black magic, dark and sinister tendencies, um, and in that sense it's useful as a term, uh, the absence of light. Um, but black is a term that is sometimes used in some of the old, the occult literature to represent something so high that it's beyond our grasp, and therefore it's black. It's black because it's, 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 a, it's a darkness that is just indicating uh, a degree of ignorance and a region of awareness yet to achieve. Nice. So it's like a veil in front of something behind it. A veil, a veil behind a higher, bigger, wider reality. And there's always a veil of that nature too. That's funny because I do have friends who say exactly that uh, black is very sacred. But I didn't know that it, I'm not even sure if they know that it's because it's like the gate in front of something else. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's yeah. not the black itself that's sacred, but it's what it's shielding. Yeah, that's a way of looking at it. And then what about, you know, there's another positive way of looking at it. Um, just symbolically, I mean, the blackness of space is what's needed in order to see the brilliance of the stars. Mm -hmm. And the stars represent points of divine light. So it, sometimes it creates the necessary contrast for light to uh, be realized. Right. Yeah. I think about that quite often when I see like some sunshine. Um, like there's sunshine there, yeah. but there's not sunshine there. Yeah. So what is this? I mean, this is warm, like, but what is that? That's interesting, I think. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah. That, that's that is interesting. That's right. Yeah. What is the absence of light? Is and, and which is more real, because it's like, I can think of reasons why each should be more real, but then in the end they're interdependent, so they're, mm. they're both real. Mm. Mm. Well, you know, it's funny, the word light is interesting, because, um, I, in fact, uh, you know, I'm going to be doing this seminar tomorrow here in Copenhagen and uh, on Revelation, but really it's a seminar about, it's all about light, and one of the biggest concepts or principles is that um, it's all about the word light and revelation go hand in hand. Uh, we use the word light to suggest, we, for instance, we say we would like to shed light on something. It suggests that we're trying to bring awareness to something. Um, and um, one of the important concepts to keep in mind uh, uh, is that light is known by what it reveals. Light is known by what it reveals. So when you look at that leaf, because light is reflecting off of it, you see that leaf. So light is known by what it reveals. But that's true, now that's just physical light that you're talking about, but that's true of every kind of light. What about the light of knowledge? What about the light of love? What about the light of purpose, the light of right. devotion, the light of idealism? I can list a hundred types of light. All of them are revelatory in consciousness. And so that's why when I do this workshop on revelation, it's really a workshop about light. That's a great principle. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to be thinking about how to apply that. It's very practical also. I like, I like when I get the principle and then I can apply it to real life. Mm, mm, absolutely, yeah. Like the light of knowledge, that's kind of, usually knowledge is related to the lower self, but it still holds light. You get a new piece of knowledge, it's now understood. There's light there. You now have an awareness that you didn't have before. Light is known by what, it's, what it reveals. And then it also reveals ignorance. Yes, because it shows you what you don't know. Mm -hmm. It's the contrast again. That's right. Yeah.